Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are taking a look at one very interesting little budget knife. And this isn't just a budget knife. I would consider this like an ultimate budget knife. Like this is not 50 or 60 bucks. This is half that. I really think this is one of, if not the best knives you can get for $25 or less. And what we are talking about here is the Remet Peacock. Now, before I go any further into this review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length coming in at 7.48 inches, a blade length coming in at 3.07 inches, and a blade thickness at 120 thousandths. Blade material on this guy is 9CR18MOV. Nothing too special, but it is also what they use on most of the Sen cuts, so not a bad steel by any means, but definitely more on the budget side of things. We have a drop point style blade, a flat grind with a handle length coming in at 4.41 inches. Handle thickness is at 470 thousandths, and as you can see, this is FRN material, so um, some people really don't like FRN, some don't care. Is what it is, this is FRN. We have a liner lock locking mechanism and a user of a right hand only tip up carry. Lefties are gonna be really upset about that, especially due to this price point, but you know, I, I always like to side with the lefties, but I, I would be remiss to say if I did not think a uh, a knife that was set up for right hand only looks a lot better on the show side. There's there's a lot of pros and cons to that depending on uh, which uh, which angle you're coming at it from. But we have a weight of 3.17 ounces and the price. This is where, this is one of the two best parts of this knife. Uh, the price, you are looking at $29.99, but I have a 15% off code that is in the description of this video below. And that 15% off will knock this knife down to $25.50. But wait, you can save even more. Let's say you really like this knife and you want to get either two or you want to get um, two different colors, like one for you, one for your girlfriend, or one for you and one for your significant other of, of any sort. Um, there's options. You can get a two knife bundle that will come with a black and either a baby blue or a pink scale version. So those packages come in at, I believe, $58.99 or $59.99. But then after, you can also use the 15% off for that. That knocks it down to $47.60, which makes these knives $23.80 each. So, depends if you need one or two knives, but whether you're paying $23.80 or $25.50, that is one hell of a price for this knife. And I'm going to tell you guys why here right after some size comparisons and uh, see just how it stacks up to some other budget knives. Let's see here. Let's bring out uh, the good old Vosti Raccoon. I think... Just about anyone would agree this is one of the best EDC budget knives of all time. And, and so is this, to be totally fair. The Kaiser T1, as you can see, measures up very well with both of those knives. And uh, got one more set for you here. Let's take a look at the Civivi Elementum. And then also another knife, probably in terms of aesthetics, the knife that reminds me most of this, and it's still not super close, but... Uh, the Ferrum Forge Stinger. I, I don't, I, I just, I get a little Stinger vibes with this. And I, I mean, obviously they're radically different. Uh, no choil or anything. It, I think it's just a level of sleekness between those two. There's your lineups. As you can see, they, they all measure up relatively similar. Um, but yeah, just, just the overall vibes from the Stinger really do carry over into this Peacock. Just any more budgety appearance. I mean, there's no denying that the FRN brings a, a, a massive budget appearance to this. But I tell you what, before we get to talking about this handle, let's talk about this blade because it is a very nice one. It, it just looks great in general. You have some really nice grind lines with the swedge up here, like the grind lines for the flat grind. And it's just a nice blade shape. It really is. It's a very high satin finish, but it looks good in very minimal branding. Blade steel brand. That's it. And Remet is relatively small. It doesn't look terribly big. I am a fan of this blade from an aesthetic standpoint, and I'm also a fan of it from an edge standpoint. We have an edge coming in at 19 thousandths behind the edge. So, you know, it, it it's not the sliciest knife in the world, but 9 thousandths is uh, relatively slicing. You have a pretty high flat grind. So yeah, it's really not that bad in terms of slicing efficiency. And you also have some nice jimping on the spine back here. So not only does it look good, it truly does feel good. And more than just the spine, because when you get into the ergos of this knife, 
the ergos are really pretty good too. Um, there's no hot spots. Um, it, it just it sits very well in my hand. The the slight curb continuous curvature on the handle just fits really. It, it fits my hand like a glove. And you know the one positive thing to FRN is it's usually pretty smooth, not slippery, but smooth. So I don't feel any points. I don't feel any hot spots. And when it comes to this handle, what really separates this from other FRN handles is it has a full stainless steel liner on the inside. Now, I'm not saying that other FRN handles don't have that, but it also has a nice long backspacer. And that makes for one ridiculously sturdy handle. This is probably the most sturdy FRN handle I have ever handled in my life. I mean, this is ridiculously strong. Um, I This feels better and has me more confident with FRN in my hand than I, than I have ever had with any other knife. That includes a lot of the Spydercos, and I absolutely, I will admit it, I'm a Spyderco fanboy, but I do not like Spydercos FRN. I've said it before. I've said it plenty of times. You guys probably know that. I don't like it. And I don't say, I'm not saying I like this FRN. Um, FRN will never be my first choice. I'm not trying to sugarcoat this. I'm just comparing this with other FRNs I've handled. And it feels better and it is a lot sturdier due to all the full liners and the very long backspacer. This is rock solid in terms like zero, zero flex. Um, just a hair's worth of flex right there at the very front, which you have with pretty much all G10 handles. So um, absolutely zero complaints from the stability, sturdy strength department of the handle. Uh, super solid handle. Um, the pocket clip, you know, I really like this pocket clip. It's fully recessed, fully recessed clip and screws, and it looks good. I mean, this clip really does work well with the handles. It, it kind of just follows the line of the handle. Um, I am a fan of this clip. I really am. I've been using I've been carrying this now for like three days. I've um, been using it for a lot of kind of my beta work. That's why you see it with scratches and stuff up there. Um, this is just a really, really good little beater EDC knife. And it does look good. It really does look good. Another really nice detail that I like on this liner that you don't even see this on some other, you know, there's been even Savivis and Kaisers that don't have this, this beveling on the liner lock here. That's a really nice little touch. And you really do notice that a lot when you go to close that blade. And did you see, did you see how easy that blade closed? Or did you just see and hear how nice this blade shot out? Because that is the other amazing aspect of this knife. I'm telling you guys, for 25 bucks, the action on this is ridiculously smooth. I mean, it, the detent, the detent on this one is perfect. Now, before I go on and rant a little more about the action, because this really does have phenomenal action, um, Remet, actually, when they sent me this knife, they actually reached out to me, and I'm going to give them some props here, because I can't remember of any other company going out of their way to tell me something like this. Um, Remet reached out and said, hey, Wayne, we're sending you this knife, but please keep in mind, um, on our first production run, we had some detent issues with some of them. Some of the detents were too strong, and it made the thumb studs hard to deploy. So Remet wanted me to let everybody know, if you buy one of these knives and you have detent issues, reach out to them and they will replace it for you, no questions asked. So you can you can reach out to them on Instagram would probably be a great way. I'll include their Instagram handle in the description of this video as well in case you do buy one or I'm sure you can probably reach out to them on the website. All of my communication with them has been through Instagram. Um, but I was really surprised with that honesty because and not to say anything bad about other companies, but other companies haven't said that before. Now, Grant, I think some of that has to do with the fact that Remet is not super well known yet. So, you know, they want to get that fact out there that, hey, you know, we're going to stand behind our products. If there's an issue with the detail, let us know. We'll replace it for you. No issues. No questions asked. So I really thought I really like that. I really like the fact they threw that in there. And uh, I have no issues with mine. Um, Detent is phenomenal, whether you are flipping it, whether you are middle finger flicking it. The middle finger flick with these thumb studs is so damn good. Uh, like I said, the detent really is just perfectly dialed in for me. Um, thumb is pretty good. The, the, of all the deployment methods, the, 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 the actual thumb portion, it, it, it is, does feel a tad heavier than other detents. But like I said, the, the flipping is perfect and the middle finger flicking is very, very satisfying. And you can do it two ways. I, sometimes I just use like the meat of my middle finger and flip it out. 
And then sometimes I'll actually dig my whole finger behind it with the nail and kick it out that way. There's, there's always different ways to do that. But the action on this knife, I'm telling you, and I'm not sugarcoating this, guys. You guys know I don't BS you. I'm, I could not be more serious when I see the action on this knife. Now, Grant, I know there's, again, you got the FRN. It makes it look budgety. I get it. I get it. Yada, yada. The action is as good as just about any Kaiser or Civivi I've ever handled. And I, it goes out saying how much I love Kaiser and Civivi. So two phenomenal, the two best brands out there in the, the budget realm of EDC knives. Um, in, in terms of an action standpoint... This is right up there with them. I, I could not be more impressed with the action on this knife. Now, some people are going to look at the FRN and be like, you know what? I just can't do it. I don't want it. I, I get that. I get that. I'm not trying to sell you something you don't want. I'm just saying, if you are okay with the FRN and you like the looks of this knife, don't let anything else steer you away from buying it because it is phenomenal. For the materials, the price, the action... At the end of the day, I, I do truly think this is the best knife you can currently get for $25 or less. And I, I really do mean that. Um, I, I When I first got this knife, I thought, oh, okay, you know, it looks good. And the moment I started deploying this blade, I'm like, holy crap. This is, I mean, it, it is in top-notch smoothness. Um, even in the clothes, I mean, it's just, it, it's excellent. It is absolutely excellent. Blade centering is perfect. I mean, this is it. If this if this did have G10 scales, I mean, you're talking something that's just easily as good as any send cut. I grant it now. Grant it with the the 9CR 18MLV, it's hard to say it's up there with with Kaiser's and Civivi's using 154CM Nitro V 14C28N. I get that. It's it's still a lesser steel, but man oh man, for 23 to 25 bucks. This is the ticket, guys. This is a phenomenal value at that price point and uh, truly is a, uh, a banger in the $25 under category. But let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know if you've handled Remet before. I would 100% recommend this. And I've really enjoyed going back and forth with Remet. I found them to be very honest. I don't know a whole lot about them, but um, from what I've gained from our conversations, I'm, I'm definitely getting some good, uh, pretty trusting vibes from them as a whole for what I know. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think of the Peacock. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.